question is about writing in memory, uh, which is slightly different from writing fiction and remembering. I think that the faculty of the imagination and the faculty of memory are actually profoundly linked and uh, that most memories have an imaginary aspect and that most fiction has a quality of remembering. Uh, in an earlier essay, I wrote a sentence that I still stand behind, which is that re uh, writing fiction is like remembering what never happened. That is, in fact, how I, I feel about it. It's as if I'm dredging up memories rather than uh, inventing, or as many fiction writers say, lying. I have never thought of writing fiction as lying. Uh, for me, it's an avenue toward the truth, uh, a form of emotional truth. And uh, I will always cut uh, anything that does not ring true. And by that, I do not mean it has to be realist fiction. I think, uh, you know, Kafka's Metamorphosis is a deeply true story uh, in ways that some realist fiction is not. Uh, so I think that memory and the imagination are related. They do seem to be related in the brain. Uh, people with hippocampal lesions that are associated with memory not only have difficulty remembering, uh, they do not imagine well. Uh, so there you have a mat material evidence, if you will, in the brain of the fact that these faculties are connected. Uh, and it's old. The idea that remembering and imagining have a link goes back, uh, I think, before Vico. But one of the great exponents of this was Giambattista Vico, um, who wrote The New Science. I think it is, there are different dates. Uh, it is 1705, I think. We can check at some point, but uh, very, very early 18th century. So uh, I have a feeling this will be more and more borne out because, you know, memories are not uh, fixed. So there is no original memory. Uh, this was also argued by many other thinkers, including James Wilhelm Wundt in Germany, that memories are plastic, they are continually shift, and um, perhaps even more famously by uh, Sigmund Freud.